Split-screen gaming is being phased out of modern games, and despite outcry from some gamers, it appears as though we'll keep seeing less and less split-screen compatible games in the future. With so many people voicing their love for split-screen gaming, the question that remains is, why are so many games getting rid of this once prominent feature? Picture this, it's 2001. Your family just brought home an original Xbox with Halo Combat Evolved. You and your brother plug in two controllers and play the campaign. An epic journey fighting aliens in space and saving the universe from the flood consumes you. You guys are having a blast. Nothing can beat this. Fast forward a few more years, it's 2004 and Halo 2 just came out. You and your brother once again play the game together. But this time, some of your friends also got the game. And with the power of the newly implemented Xbox Live, you guys are able to play together from different houses, all while having multiple players on the same screen. Life is good. Now this is in no way me trying to say that Halo was the first game to ever have split screen or a couch co-op feature. Hell, I even remember playing Black Ops 1 split screen at my buddies after school. Whether that be playing zombies or multiplayer online, we utilized split screen quite a lot back in the day. And there will always be a place for games that utilize split screen. But the point stands. In the early to mid 2000s, split screen and couch co op was an extremely popular method of playing games, giving everybody the chance to play video games so long as somebody they know owned the gaming console and the game. Now, fast forward 20 years from Combat Evolved, not many people are playing like that anymore. So, what changed? The simple answer is accessibility. The more in depth answer is compared to the early 2000s, gaming is now much more accessible and widespread. Consoles are easy to come by now, aside from the releases in 2020, but that's an isolated incident. Internet connections are much more stable and powerful now. People are able to just play together online from the same house on different TVs all under the same roof. There isn't much of a need to play on the same screen nowadays. Sure, you have party games like Mario Kart and Mario Party, and sometimes you want to play zombies split screen. And games of that nature are always going to be played on one screen for the most part. But by and large, any game you want to play now, you can play without having to share the screen. An anecdotal example, but in my house alone, there are two Xbox Series X consoles, two Xbox Ones, two Nintendo Switches, and an Xbox 360, all under one roof. And with a pretty stable internet connection, we could literally have four people playing, say, Call of Duty together, all on separate consoles on their own TVs in one house. You wouldn't need to utilize split screen. Even more so when it comes to competitive games. If you play competitively, you're probably playing on a wired connection using a low latency monitor with your headset on. Playing a competitive game like Overwatch, for example, wouldn't be very ideal. You'd be hearing multiple inputs, your screen would literally be half the size. It's just not ideal for a competitive game. Even when playing a casual game like Call of Duty now, for example, most people are probably playing on their own setup at home. Or if you do plan on having a LAN party, everyone would much rather bring their own console and monitor to play as opposed to having to share the screen. The market has changed, and gaming companies have realized that. Aside from party games and super casual games, why would a developer waste time and resources to implement a feature that will barely be used? And I know the next argument is somebody saying, but I utilize split screen, I would love to continue to utilize it. And that may be the case, but that's arguably a minority of people now. Is split screen a nice thing to have? Of course, and I am in no way defending the eradication of split screen. I believe that it's a very accessible medium and something that a lot of games should implement, and it's something that we should continue to have for the foreseeable future. But the feature of split screen costs developers money to implement, and if they have the data that shows that year by year the amount of people who are utilizing split screen gaming is decreasing, then why would they spend the money on something that hardly anybody will use? There will always be games that will benefit from split screen and there will probably be, for the foreseeable future, games that support it. But there will come a day where split screen is a thing of the past. As technology keeps advancing, the need for this feature diminishes. Game companies aren't killing split screen as some sort of middle finger to the consumer, it's so that they can put more time and money into other parts of the game. 
on features that will be used by the masses. And yes, the state of AAA gaming isn't in the greatest of spots with all these half-baked games releasing, but the point still stands. Why would a developer waste the money and resources on something that isn't going to be utilized as much as something else? They would rather polish some other aspects of the game, contrary to how games are actually releasing now. The point is, the market has spoken. The need for split-screen capabilities is getting lower and lower. We just happen to be in that transitionary period. Split-screen is dying, and there is nothing that we can do to save it. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!